I'm here today on another science expedition at Chapelwood Elementary. See, I'm meeting with a group of special kids, and the name of this group is Keep Chapelwood Beautiful After School Kids Club. Let's check it out. So I found a really nice Chapelwood garden with all kind of plants, but I wonder where the kids are. So maybe it's because it's rain, but these kids should not be afraid of the rain. Are there any kids around here? Oh, here they are. <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? Get over here. So you guys are the Grow Club, so what are you doing, watering what? everything today? Yeah. So you're the after school group and you've been working all year long, is that right? Yeah. I hear you have a song. Is the song about rain? Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Is it a grow song? What's it called? Going green. Go, it's going green. Well, let's sing it for everybody. One, two, three. We're going green. We're going green. We're going to take care of We're going green. I love that. We're going to take care of it. We're going green. And the earth needs water. We're going to get a lot of water today. Hey. Let's go and see what you guys have been doing this year, okay? Hey, so you're one of the kids in the club. What was one of the projects you did this year? You picked up litter. You know, I'm looking right here and I found a piece of litter right here. So you took the kids around the school and picked up litter? Yeah. Well, what did you do with it after you picked it up? You put it in trash and recycle. And then I heard that you taught the other kids how to do this in your classroom. Is that true? Well, that's a great activity. Let's learn a little bit more about it. So them. after you got the, uh, collected the trash and the things outside, you brought in them and taught the other classrooms how to recycle. Is that true? Yeah. Well, how does it work? Yeah. Did you go to the different classrooms? Yeah. You, you want to show me? Yeah. Tell them to come on. Come on. All right. All right. So keep, oh, keep going. Oh, that's recycles that go right here. Yeah. Here. Here. Oh, I see. So you went to each classroom. Wait. Wait. That's trash. What are you going to do? Throw it in recycling? Where are you going to put it? In the trash can. Oh, okay. Put that in the trash can. Keep coming. I'm glad you were paying attention because I wasn't. Uh, you know, so these are all recyclables. And... Yes. What? What? Yes. Yes. What do you think we're doing here? We're oh, trying to wait. recycle. Oh, wait, that's all right. <laughs> wait. We look in our plastic recycling. And it does have a plastic number five. Okay. So you are right, Joshua. Where does that go? In recycling. <laughs> All right. So you recycle paper and the plastic. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And some more trash. So you went to all the classrooms and taught them how to do this, right? I bet that made a big difference at Chapelwood. I'm glad you guys did that. Let's find out what else you do. Mr. Claus, when we... We use this poster to learn what is recyclable. Oh, I see. And it tells you the things you can recycle and how to put them into different groups. Well, that's a valuable lesson. Thanks, Cheyenne. So they did a lot of activities. I'd like you to meet one of the teachers that is involved in that. This is Wintro. Come on in. Hi. We have Keep, uh, Keep Chapelwood Beautiful Kids Club here, and we decided we have a need. A need for trees. In our fall semester kids club, we walked our school grounds and drew maps we, where we had the need for trees. These are some examples of our student maps from the fall semester. Hi, I applied for a forestation grant through Keep Indianapolis Beautiful and during our fall celebration, we knew that we were awarded the 20 trees through them. Hi, I'm Miss Bernie. I'm uh, also a teacher here at uh, Keep Chapelwood Beautiful Kids Club and this semester our kiddos heard that an arborist was going to come and uh, speak to us so they decided to do some writing and some drawing about some things we could plant here at, Chap at Chapelwood. Um, anybody want to tell me what an arborist is? Mara? An arborist is somebody who studies plants and protects plants. Okay. Very good. Let's take a look at your pictures. Oh, this is Nathaniel's. I would plant an oak tree because I think that would help the birds. That is amazing. And here's another one of these drawings that you guys studied. Oh, who is this? This is yours, Amara? I, if I was I, an arborist, 
I would plant big trees because they help people have air. So we got birds and air. And here's another one. What would you do with your trees? Mm, plant them so animals could have a home. So animals could have a home. And finally, onyx, oh, I like your trees. You got big ones and small ones. And why would you want to be what the arborist says to do? What would you do? Plant evergreen trees and daisies for, for, my, for more air and honey. Oh, honey, because the bees love that. Well, I think you guys really learned the lesson about arborists. Nice job on those. Here comes a bee landing. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stewart. I'm another KCB teacher. Um, this is a map of where we'll be pr planting the 20 trees that we were awarded, and we'll be planting them with the KCB members in fall of 2017. Hi, uh, at, at KCB Club, we also talked about what it means to be a leader, and Trayvon has some really interesting things about uh, what it means to be a leader. Trey? As a teacher for beautiful kids club, Remember, I am a leader. Leaders help me a good citizen and teach others. I taught friends how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We teach by posters. Here's one of our posters we hung around the school. Another part of our leadership with Keep Chapelwood Beautiful is daily announcements during Earth Week. Boys and girls at Chapelwood, I have Addie and Nathan here to do a daily announcement. At Chapelwood, we need to reduce, reuse, recycle. That helps the world. Another part of our leadership in ways we taught the school and other students is through community outreach and community service. We volunteered during the spring fling and we're going to take a closer look at that. We're ending our spring 2017 school year and Keep Chapel with Beautiful Kids Club with great memories. We have plans next year to keep Chapel with Beautiful and make it even better. Uh, so, friends, keep, what do we keep Chapel with Beautiful Kids Club! Another part of our kids club was book talks. The students had a take home library where they took home um, books about different top topics, trees, how to uh, keep the earth clean, and other ways we get to reduce, reuse, recycle. They talked with students in our group and shared things that they enjoyed about the book and then those students would get to take home the book at our next meeting.
This would not all be possible without big thank yous to D Department of Natural Resources, DNR, uh, Morgan County Soil and Water, Ray's Recycling, and Indy Parks. These were our four main donors that helped with our Spring Fling event and for our community outreach and community service project. I also would like to thank all the families and parents of the Kids Club. Um, your help and um, dedication to this club, wouldn't, this wouldn't be possible without you. We would like to thank Keep Indianapolis Beautiful and Adopt the Block. Um, and I have a special group of teachers that this wouldn't have been possible with, without you. Thank you to Mrs. Osborne and Mrs. Sheeler that weren't able to be with us this semester. And we had Mrs. Huckleberry, Mrs. Stewart, and Mrs. Bernie. A big thank you to everything that you helped do and create for this club. Um, also, in planning and development, I want to give a big thank you out to Mrs. Stuller, our family title liaison, and our administration, Mrs. Pierce and Mr. Grimes. Keep Chapwood Beautiful Kids Club and our action plan will continue for fall 2017. See you then.